Welcome back to part two. So last week we covered sap values, determining your lye and converting from potassium hydroxide to sodium hydroxide and vice versa. So the next step in calculating a recipe will be determining your lye discount. Now this is a pretty simple step to do. I think it's the easiest of all the steps really when it comes down to it. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I wanna do is talk about a lye discount versus super fat. The two terms are used interchangeably, but they don't quite mean the same thing. They end up with the same result, but they get to it by different methods. So when we say super fat, what we mean is there is an excess of oils that will not get saponified, and we are trying to control which oils are not being saponified. So very hard to do with cold process soap, but if you do hot process, say, then you have more uh, control over which oils saponify and which oils are actually going to add to your super fat. A lie discount is Basically, we are making sure there is not enough lye to saponify all of the oils. So we have no control really over which oils are going to be left that won't get saponified. We just know that there will be an excess of oils, which is good because that means we won't have a lye heavy soap. Typically, we super fat between three and eight percent. Um, I like to super fat at four or five percent, but you can play around with that. And this is just a guide. It really depends on the type of soap you are making. For example, if you're going to make a salt bar, you're probably going to be soaping or sorry, super fatting at 20%. So it really just depends on the recipe, what you're doing. But if you're just making a general hand and body soap, then super fatting around 5% is a good place to start. So how do we determine the lie discount? It's pretty simple. So we're going to go back to step one where we found the total amount of lie, and then you're going to multiply that by the discount that you want. That's going to tell you how much lie you need to remove from your recipe. So then we move, we go on to step two where we take the total amount of lye. Again, this is what we determined in step one. Subtract the lye discount we just found and that's gonna give you your new lye amount. So two steps, these are the two formulas. Take the total amount of lye, multiply it by the discount, that'll give you the discount and then you'll subtract that discount from the total lye and that's gonna give you your new lye amount. So let's look at an example. Let's say we have a recipe that calls for 12 ounces of sodium hydroxide and we want to do a 3% discount. So first, you need to convert your 3% into a decimal format. Simply divide that by 100. That's going to give you 0 0.03. I'm going to assume from here on out whenever I say take 3% that you understand I've automatically converted it when I plug it into any formula. So moving forward, we're going to take our total amount of lye, which is 12 ounces, multiply that by our 3%, and that's going to give us 0 0.36 ounces. So now we need to go back to our total amount of lye, which was 12, subtract that 0.36, and our new amount of lye for this recipe is going to be 11.64 ounces. This is how much lye we are going to use in our recipe. Pretty simple, right? So, I wanted to, again, go over one of the Guild exam questions uh, for those of you that do want to do the certification the Guild offers. You will see a question like this. 32 ounces of sodium hydroxide are required to completely saponify a particular blend of oils. If you wish to discount the lye by 5%, how many ounces of sodium hydroxide should you use with this blend? So really simple, right? Just take the two uh, formulas that we just did and apply them to that 32 ounces of sodium hydroxide and a 5% discount. And this is what we will get. So 32 ounces times 
0.05 is 1.6 ounces. Then we're going to take 32 ounces minus that 1.6 ounces. Our new lye amount with a 5% discount will be 30.4 ounces. It's as simple as that. So, really nice short video to the point. Next week we are going to go over calculating your water. That's a little bit more tricky. Um, so stay tuned. I have lots of good information to share on that. Again, if you're interested, I offer everything that are going to be that's going to be part of this four videos in a handout that you can purchase on my webpage. Lots of information. If you have questions, you don't understand something, feel free to comment below, ask your question, and I will help you figure it out. Until then, stay tuned for next Saturday when we go over calculating your water.